Welcome to Pelican's How to Replace the Cables on Your High Drive Kayak. In the box you will find steering handle with pre-mounted cables, screws, P-clips, stoppers. To complete this installation, you will need the following tools. One 332nd Allen key, two Phillips screwdrivers. To remove your cables, the first thing we want to do is to ensure the rudder is up and locked into place. Using your Allen key, loosen the set screws located on the sides of both the left and right grommet. Make sure you loosen them enough so that you can remove the cables from the rudder. Then with your Phillips screwdriver, remove the screws holding the P-clips at the rear of the kayak. Once done, you can remove the P-clips and stoppers from the cables. Repeat on the other side. Open the rear hatch, remove the storage bag, and pull the cable inside the kayak. Next, remove the four screws holding the steering mount in place. Unscrew the P-clips and remove the P-clips and stoppers from the cables. You can now pull the cables out the rest of the way. To install your new cables, make sure to thread the black cable on the port side of your kayak and the white cable on the starboard side, ensuring your cables don't get twisted up during this phase. You also want to ensure the handle and cables line up as you see here. You will notice that there is a different size hole on both ends of the stopper. The larger allows you to insert the cable sheath into the stopper and the smaller hole prevents it from being pulled loose. Install the stoppers on both cables and then secure the cable to the kayak with the P-clip. Line up your handle so that you, or a friend, can pull the metal wires to ensure there is no slack under the handle. At this point, you can loosely install the steering plate and lock the handle into place by dropping a screwdriver down through the alignment hole. Reach through the day hatch to retrieve the cables and feed them through the rear openings at the back of the kayak. For your rudder to function correctly, pull the white cable through the port side opening and the black cable through the starboard side opening. In essence, the cables have switched sides from where they were inserted into the kayak. Once done, place a stopper on the end of each cable. Attach the cables to the kayak using the P-clips provided. Repeat on the other side. Pull the metal cables taut and install them into the grommets on the rudder by threading it through the keepers on the grommet, looping it around the grommet and then threading it through the hole in the grommet. Hold the cables secure as you tighten the set screw.
Repeat on the other side. Unlock your rudder. Secure the steering plate properly by tightening the four screws into place and removing the screwdriver from the alignment hole. All that's left is to test your rudder. You're now ready to get back out on the water. Feel free to leave any questions in the comment section below and check out the rest of our how-to video series.